All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of CFW here in 1970 playthrough. We're a quarter of the through the year, and you know we're about a hundred thousand dollars in debt. Uh, but it looks like let me just go to finance as we approach the end of the month. Uh, we're actually on pace to lose more money, so it look like we made a dent here not as much but we are running two shows this month to kind of get on track with end of the month stuff now that we're kind of entering i don't want to say a new era but it it is very close to a new era uh basically if you look at our history here let me just go to not my notepad um Luthes has walked out of uh, CFW. Um, basically, he uh, yeah, he just he walked out, and uh, he didn't like putting over Nick Kozak. Uh, so let's go to uh, show history. Yeah, Luthes's last match. Nick Kozak won, and Luthez wasn't happy with that, so Luthez left, um, and there's not much else there around that. Of course, Killer Kowalski is out injured, but, I mean, yeah, we had, and then we had a great show here, but followed up by a not good show, but, yeah, I mean, just like I said, everything else is going, and Luthez was going to transition into a road agent. Uh, we kind of have found our road agent of choice in Enrique Torres. So, you know, it just it, it is unfortunate, but there's not much we can really do. But the good news is, in terms of money and stuff, we should eventually start making a profit. Uh, because if you go to, let me just go to Canadian Federation of Wrestling size, we're at 29. And if we track the progress, I mean... In the past, since March, we've grown by three. So, and we got to get to 35 to become small, which I think should be a little bit of a boost. And then, you know, and the U.S., I, I mean, it's going to be a while before we run a show in the U.S., but uh, there is some spillover, you know, so it is what it is. But for right now, the goal, of course, is to grow in British Columbia, get to small, uh, and go from there. And, you know, it does suck to lose. Luthez, you know, our promotion was built around Luthez, but we got some faces to push here. It's not like we're put all our eggs in a Luthez basket, at, uh, you know? So, but yeah, basically, the plan is here we're going to do a first ever edition of CFW Live Special. And we'll cover one episode of CFW Live. And then after that, we'll continue the format of two weeks, two weeks event. Two weeks, two weeks event. But, yeah, so we're in a new era here. We have, we have of course, the Canadian Classic out of, uh, is the old event that's going to stay. And obviously these were based on Luthez. So, you know, just they don't matter anymore. And then the Big Bang was just our pilot episode. And it sucked. Uh, just bottom line, the Big Bang kind of was a miss, but then here, and he, and, you know, CFW Live, all been pretty good. So, we'll go from there, and let's book some wrestling, and, yeah, try to continue to grow our company in size, and, you know, all of that stuff. So, let's get to it. I'll see you guys for the next edition, the go-home show of CFW Live. Uh, and then the CFW Live Special. All right, welcome to the Go Home Show. So basically, item of note, no rookie showcase. The only rookie available was Roddy Piper. Terry Funk's injured. Quite a few wrestlers are getting injured. Unfortunately, not well working, working for us. So opening match. Uh, Nick Kozak defeats Carl von Steigner. Uh, 
Gero Van Steigner and Carl Braun intentionally get disqualified and then attack Nick Kozak. You know, Quick didn't justify a segment, but that's basically what happened. And next up, we have Thor Hagen versus Mike York, two men maybe looking to vie for a Canadian title in the future. And then Abdul the Butcher uh, comes down to the ring, and he's ready to beat the crap out of Thor Hagen, his old rival, the two men who contested for the title. But Rocky Johnson comes down to make the save. And basically, uh, as Rocky Johnson pointed out to Abdullah, he knows all his tricks. They agree each wrestler will fight the other wrestler the opponent picks. So pick your poison situation heading into CFW. Oh, uh, what's the name of it? <laughs> CFW Live Special. So for the CFW Live Special, it will be a Bull and Rocky fighting the opponent of each other's picks. So we have the tag titles. And Rocky Johnson and Abdul the Butcher in action versus, and then uh, Buddy Rogers versus Tony Bourne for the Canadian Heavyweight Championship. Uh, yeah, just get pre booking. Uh, next up, we have uh, just Tony Bourne defeating Gorgeous George uh, in, by pinfall. Uh, Tony Bourne picking up some momentum ahead of his title match. Buddy Rogers, of course, was on commentary. And then we have a post-match attack where Buddy Rogers, Carl Vaughn, and, Car and the Carl Vaughns uh, run down to the ring and beat Tough Tony down to the mat. And basically, once again, Buddy, Buddy Rogers says it is about being the smartest man. Uh, basically, when I come up to him like, hey, what's going on? It's about being the smartest man in wrestling. That's how I got this. It's how I beat Lou Fez. You want this. But you're... And you may be better than me in the ring, however, when it comes to smarts, I am smarter than you. And I'll see if you can make it. So there you have it. 48, solid show here. And yeah, next up we have our event, the CFW Live Special. So that that's it for uh, not this episode here, but this episode of CFW Live. And I'll see you guys all for our uh, live special. All right, everyone, welcome, and we have another rookie showcase. These two crush it, as usual, getting a 25 on the pre-show. So this week, we're able to get a nice rookie showcase. Uh, oh, that's not good. All right, next up in just some fun opening match. Luckily, I didn't have to find just two random matches because we have four matches on the main card. Uh, we had uh, George Dadsky. Let's make sure. Okay, my mic's still working. I accidentally touched something there. But back to it. Defeats Harold Sakata. So just, you know, fun match to open the show. Next up at a 55. So had to make some alterations uh, as the booker because one of our people couldn't make it. Uh, but basically, uh, the Von Eriks defeated the Kozak brothers. Uh, after Buddy Rogers interfered. And basically, Buddy Rogers says that while... So Buddy Rogers is going to... Oh, wow. Basically cleared everything up. While also going off script. But Buddy Rogers basically or was supposed to clear everything up. And that he taunts Nick Kozak for, you know, uh, calling out of, yeah, I'm thrown off by the taunting. But he basically says, you know, I made a deal with the uh, Carl Vons in that they helped me take out Tony Boone. I helped them take out the Kozaks. Now, while the Carl Vons couldn't be here tonight, they still wanted me to take out the Kozaks. So, Nick Kozak, you still have enemies. Not only in the new tag team champions, the Von Eriks, but also in me and everyone else. So Nick Kozak, don't you forget that. Next up, uh, Nick Co uh, Tony Bourne cannot be here. So no main event for all of you stupid fans here tonight. And also the stupid promotion that has wrestlers. 
that are supposed to be showing up on pay-per-views, not aren't showing up on these specials, not showing up. Luthez has walked out here, you know, just kind of going rogue. But next up, uh, and next up, Abdul the Butcher defeats who Rocky Johnson shows in Gorilla Monsoon, and then followed up with Rocky Johnson defeating John Tolos with a drop kick, and then comes to our main event, where basically I come out and I said, you know what? You made an enemy tonight. You cost us our main event. You cost the legitimacy of our first ever tag team champions. So you were going to defend your title right now against Nick Kozak. And next up, uh, 59. So up there with one of our best matches, uh, Nick Kozak defeats Buddy Rogers with the airplane spin and wins the title. So some comeuppance for Buddy Rogers. And yeah, let me just uh, make the speech here. But yeah, uh, let me go to 56. So finally, I think that's our best event ever. Uh, let me go. Oh yeah, I gotta try to raise Buddy Rogers' morale. It looks like he might be done, but because he just started shooting us, uh, did double duty, and what was match of the night? What was that? So we'll give it to uh, Waldo Von Eric. But yeah. So hopefully that keeps Buddy Rogers here. I doubt it at this point, but. It is what it is. We'll see next episode if Buddy Rogers ends up sticking around, or do we have the two people that our first promotion was built around uh, see if they stay. So, uh. Eleven thousand people, so all right. So that's it for this one, everyone. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next week for CFW, some more CFW. I'm enjoying this quite a bit, having to overcome a lot, but uh, we definitely have had a hot four months here, so.